Hello, I'm Jim Ball, Urban Horticulture Extension Agent with the University of Florida IFAS, Hernando County Cooperative Extension Service. So your neighbor said to you that you have chinch bugs. How do you know for sure? As we can see in these pictures, many of these areas look exactly the same, and not all of them are, in fact, chinch bug damage. In our upper left-hand picture here, we can see that there are green oases in and amongst brown patches of lawn. Upon closer inspection, the irrigation heads are too low to shoot to the next irrigation head further away, thus creating an area where water is lacking and brown spots in this particular lawn. In the next picture, in the middle, we actually do have chinch bug damage. It's kind of a yellow turning into a brown, very patchy. However, it kind of looks very much similar to a disease here in the picture in the upper right-hand corner. That is brown patch disease. In the lower right-hand corner, we can see we have another disease called take-all root rot. Again, the symptomology is that their lawn is turning brown and starting to die. This is not very indicative of any one particular problem. On the middle slide, on the bottom, we can see we have, literally, we can blame the dog for this. The dog urine damage actually chemically is uh, damaging the turf. In the last picture, on the lower right-hand part of the slide, these are nematodes that are causing the damage to this particular lawn. Now nematodes are microscopic worm-like creatures that we cannot control in home lawn turf. Chinch bugs are the most injurious pest of St. Augustine grass. If you do not have St. Augustine grass such as Floritam, you don't have to worry about chinch bugs. They don't feed on it. The feeding damage follows the growth cycle of our lawns, which uh, in April to October is when we are at the height of chinch bug season. Hot dry weather seems to favor their development. Once the rainy season begins, the heavy rain tend to dislodge the small insects and reduce their feeding. Chinch bugs start life very small. Young chinch bugs are about 1 20th of an inch. Here these have been greatly magnified. When they start off life, you can see that they are pink or reddish with a white dot or a white band on their back. As they grow older, their color starts to darken till when they're almost fully grown that they're silver in color. Adult chinch bugs are about one-fifth of an inch in black with the white wings and have black spots. Damage from chinch bugs is usually first noticed in the water-stressed areas along the edges of the lawn. Now again, irrigation may be the problem and not chinch bugs in those areas. How can you tell for sure if you have chinch bugs? The best way is to monitor. You can insert an open-ended can, such as a coffee can here, uh, about two inches into the soil and you fill it up with soapy water. Uh, you can take your dishwashing liquid by your sink, uh, put a squeeze of it into the bucket of water, and fill up this uh, moat, so to speak, and watch as they float up to the top and repeat in several locations. In your monitoring, you may find a few good bugs along the way, such as our friend the earwig. These are fairly large in size, about a half an inch or so, move very rapidly, and are usually dark brown in color. They're a predator of chinch bugs. In laboratory testing, we found that they feed on about 50 chinch bugs in one night. So these are definitely a gardener's best friend. Now just because you find a few chinch bugs in your coffee can test, uh, doesn't mean you have to spray immediately. We have a threshold, 20, 25 per square foot. A liquid insecticide sprayed on the leaves will work better than a granular insecticide. You don't need to treat the whole lawn, just the damaged area plus a 5 foot buffer around to ensure that you get all the chinch bugs. There are many products labeled for controlling chinch bugs in your lawn. For more information on chinch bug control, please go to the following website, http colon two forward slashes